So down here, this is your PRV actuator. This is your VGD actuator. So we'll use this one as our example for now. Probably the most important thing with installing one of these is that we get the vanes. Now I'm just going to use the VGD here as the example. Uh, we're going to use the, or we need to make sure the vanes are fully closed at a bare minimum, meaning that that actuator has been driven to the full closed position which this should be a 90 degree actuator. So we're in a fully closed position and our end switch for closed has been triggered. We're sending that output out and then we're going to pivot our armature to where we can move to a fully closed position on the armature. So we want to make sure that, that, that where the arm for or the shaft for the guide vanes is positioned is in a fully closed point. That way it matches fully closed at the, at the vanes and fully closed at the actuator. And you want to make sure you also put a little bit of pressure on it. Not, not like hard, like you're forcing it because then you'll end up uh, putting too much stress on the vanes themselves, but you want to make sure that it's solidly closed because if you don't get this part right, part of what will happen is the veins may allow too much leakage through them at startup, which is going to cause your motor to go into an overcurrent because the veins aren't fully closed properly. So if this mechanical linkage is not put in just right, then you could be uh, causing an overcurrent issue at startup. That'll be probably be the primary symptom that you're going to deal with. In addition to it's going to have a hard time unloading as much as it needs to when it needs to close the veins, stuff like that.